Well, in this episode, we head out to Spider Mountain, and Rain decides she is going to rip the trails on a new bike. Oh, she, she lost me. But she loses a pedal, and I can't stop in time. <laughs> Welcome to No Front Brakes, where I ride my mountain bike with a prosthetic arm. Ah, we're back again on the Texas Eagle Lift at Spider Mountain, a little slice of park that's only an hour's drive from home in Central Texas. But wait, let's rewind a little bit. In June, we went to Angel Fire, and Feeney came with us. Ah, brake bump! After a day in the park, she got arm pump really bad and tapped out of riding for the trip. We regret not renting her something more plush than her short travel kids bike. At Spider, they have several different rentals, and although none of them are true dual crown downhill bikes, all of them are great bikes for the terrain. My setup is too annoying to be able to ride a rental, but luckily I have Rain to guinea pig out some bikes for me. Let's start out with her bike, a 2018 Yeti SB 4.5 dentist bike. It's a solid bike, but still, here's some memes. Good job, Lewis. Yep. The SB 4.5 is her bread and butter. It's a bike she feels comfortable on. She's been riding these trails for the last two years on it. She knows how to pump rollers, scrub jumps, and recently has been learning how to open it up a little more over the real chunky sections. What happened? It has served her well, but let's get her on something with more than 140 millimeters travel. So, I talked to a Spider Mountain employee in the shop about the different bikes they offer, and I asked him a few questions about what types of bikes people are renting. What do you notice uh, when people come and rent bikes? Are they normally coming with their own bikes, or are they... Um, no. Being the only ski lift in Texas, people don't have bikes, and they're looking to try out downhill. They actually just come up, and they have no idea what size frame, pretty much no idea what the wheel size will do on the trail. A 29 wheel will roll over breaking bumps and mm -hmm. rocks a little easier. 27.5 is smaller, so obviously it'll feel a little bit more. Uh, we have the trail bike, which is the altitude, and the Da Vinci is more of an all-around bike. You mm -hmm. can jump it, get pretty aggressive with it, and we just have to pretty much give them a rundown of the whole deal. Let's get rain on that trail bike. This is the 2018 Rocky Mountain Altitude. It's an aluminum frame with 160 millimeters of front travel and 150 millimeters of travel in the rear. Now, this is her first time on 27.5 wheels. Let's see how she does. Yeah? You're riding so much faster. It's like night and day. I noticed that very quickly on the 27.5 bike, she was leaning more into the turns, and it really looked like she had been riding that bike all along. I believe people use the term flickable. How do you feel? It's like you're super fun. Yeah? Yeah. You're going really fast. Rain definitely looked more playful. Let's see how she does on the blue trail. Good job. Got it. Oh. Okay. I keep losing my pedal. You know what? I lost pedals like three times. Here are those pedals. Always make sure the pins aren't worn, and metal pedals are always better than composite. She's looking smooth, and I bet the smaller wheel size makes it a lot more nimble, even though it might not actually be a smoother roll. Does it feel like it's, it's... It's eating up the trunk a lot more. Yeah. So they didn't have a Spartan in her size that day, but they did have a small. It has a 170 millimeter Lyric fork and a 165 millimeter Super Deluxe rear shock. Well, let's give it a go. Thoughts? It feels weird when I turn, like I'm on top of it a little bit more. Yes, yep. Not as nimble as that Rocky Mountain did. I want to get you on the right size. 
It was clear that we needed a return trip to try out the right size spark. When I got going faster on this bike, it was better. Yes. So the slower I went, it felt like it wasn't maneuvering right. And so we noticed there's been a lot of new riders coming out here and we notice a lot of them have like some of the big box type bikes. So are you noticing a lot of those types of riders renting? Yes, uh, we'll have a few people come in. They're derailers on the cheaper bikes. We get jacked up out here hitting all the rocks and breaking bumps, maybe smack a tree and they'll just say, you know what, I'll go for a rental and it changes their whole they don't want to ride their bike anymore. Yeah. I think one thing that people start to learn is like, you do get what you pay for. And yeah. so when you're buying like a two to $300 bike, it's yep. not going to last very long. Yeah, you definitely do. And they see that coming out here and running these. Four to six weeks later. No, it's filming. Look how nice I am early in the morning. <laughs> is it flashing? Is it filming? Is it going? Is it counting? Are you excited? This is their medium alloy Spartan. This is a few pounds heavier than the carbon with the same 170 millimeter fork and 165 millimeter shock. <laughs> By this point, Rain knows what she likes. You like it? Yeah, but see, my fingers are not really long enough to like get comfortably on the brake. Like, oh. Really Oh, never mind, they don't have the quick thing. She looks faster on the Spartan than her Yeti 4.5 or the Rocky Mountain, but she still has yet to ride the carbon version of this bike. So let's get her on that one. It's definitely more of like a machine. Like, I don't know how to explain it. Feels big and heavy? Yeah. Feels beefy? This bike is actually a large frame. It's basically the lower build of my exact same bike. But wait for it. Oh my god, you're moving. Fine, I'm just like moving. Yeah, you're going so fast. You find the to move? I know. Oh my god, you're so much faster. Well, there is a huge difference in the weight. Yeah. Because this wants to go and I feel like it's light, it's easy to pedal. The other one I felt like I was in my heart. You're really having to crank it. Yeah. God, I can't keep up with her. You look so good! You might have just PR'd the green trail. This is the nicest bike I've ever ridden. Yeah. 100%. It just feels quick. I feel like I can maneuver it. Yeah. And this is smooth. Yeah, isn't it? You want to do the blue on it? Yeah. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. I've never seen you go that fast. If we compare footage of Rain on her bike versus the Carbon Spartan, she was much faster on the Spartan. And here's a side by side of that in Fast Forward. The only thing that you're not doing is there are still times where you get scared and choke up, which is really weird. Because you'll be like, there was one part on the middle part where you were pulling away from me. Like I said, I feel like I just picked the wrong lines more than a few times there and the bike took it and I still had control. Yeah, the spike for the win. We tried out all three bikes and I think the Spartan Carbon was yeah. the uh, the crowd favorite. Yeah, it's like, it's like being on your old bike and then once you get on the Carbon, you don't want to ride your bike anymore. So these bikes usually are like a season, right? You have them for a season and then you'll get a new line yeah. typically. We're running about nine months on these bikes. Um, we rent them out enough to make our money back and 
then we sell them off to the public in good working order. I think the crazy thing about these bikes is they can take a beating. Like, they, can take they I mean, nine months of heavy riding in Texas, it's not like flow trails everywhere. No, like, it's, it's there's rock right below all the dirt, they so. Take a beating and yeah, the, a lot of the beginners do a lot of the beating. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, which is a-okay, they're rentals, you guys got insurance and you're good to go, but um, the suspension definitely takes a beating out here with seals and dirt. That's why we try to clean the shocks off at least every day and get that dust off there. Cool, thanks. I absolutely recommend renting at a downhill park, especially if you don't currently ride a longer travel bike. It is a chunk of change to rent, but your arms will thank you and you'll get to try out a bike and possibly fall in love with it, just like Rain did. Big thanks to Spider Mountain for letting us try out all of their different models. Most bike parks have tons of different options for renting and one of those is bound to suit you as a rider. Also thank you for watching and until next time, stay shreddy.